unbelievable sight. The sky glowing in eerie orange, illuminating billowing clouds of smoke as a grass fire tore through the prairies. The fire was so large, so intense and fast moving, it prompted an evacuation of 40 people in a rural area south of Oyen. I actually have friends that are fighting the fire that actually called me um, and told me to get out. The fire destroying one farm in the area. The owner was home in bed at the time. Neighbors had to get him out. They had to force the way in because he didn't hear them and they got him out and uh, took him to the neighbor's place where it was safe. And uh, it was just a matter of not very long and the place was gone. The fire tore through the property, leaving Morley Sarvis with nothing but his truck and the clothes on his back. Yeah, I grew up here. I grew up here on that farm. It's heartbreaking I mean, to lose something like that. 14 fire services from Alberta and Saskatchewan were called in to help fight the blaze. Area resident Andy Kirchenman was one of the people who responded to help fight the fire. He said efforts were made to try and save the home. The farmyard was very overgrown with grass. Uh, it hadn't been hayed or mowed. We thought we would have a chance, but the wind shifted, and uh, we just had to get out of there. The fire started on the CFB Suffield base as military personnel detonated an unexploded ordinance. Major Hugh Atwell says they are taking responsibility for the fire on the base, but not the one outside of it. There was a report of another fire off base, which uh, spread significantly. And what I can't confirm at this time is that that fire was uh, also started by the uh, destruction of the unexploded ordinance. Residents say they're frustrated they could do nothing to stop the fire when it was spotted on the base, but CFB Suffield says it's a safety issue. They won't let us in there to, to fight a fire inside the block, but they won't look after it themselves. So we have to be on guard every time there's a fire. Fire crews are still putting out hot spots and cleanup efforts will soon be underway. Residents are allowed to return home, though many are staying in bind loss until their power is restored. Meanwhile, Morley says he might go live with family near Olds now that his home is gone. Leah Murray, Chat News.